Hello, welcome back to Vlogtober. This is probably the last episode, and as you can see, I am back home. I went to Italy and it was amazing. I had such a great time, and it was definitely like a lot of learning and dealing with my emotions. Good emotions, I should say. And it was just an emotional trip overall. I just can't believe it's over, and it was like a long time coming. And I'm just excited for, obviously, my cousin. God, don't get emotional here. This is Vlogtober. This supposed to be fun. Um, yeah, happy for her. And she's traveling now. And I am back to work, back to the grind. And yeah, I figured I would just vlog my weekend with you guys because it's our first weekend, um, like full weekend. So I'm actually about to get an oil change right now for my dear old car and tire rotation because those things go hand in hand, obviously. If you have a car, you know. Um, and then Michael and I are gonna get breakfast while that's getting done. So I'm just getting ready for that right now. But first thing I want to do is show you guys the scarf that I got. I got this in Bellagio and it's silk and so beautiful. It is kind of muted. It's a part of the soft summer palette, which I'm not positive that I'm a soft summer but I think I definitely lean towards that palette. I did a video, a couple of videos ago, um, on the palette and the makeup that I like. So I am just still figuring out my coloring. I don't think I'm a bright at all, but I think this, this compliments me. I also don't have a lip color on. I should probably do that so I don't look so washed out. This is Irie Rose or Eerie Rose by K Skin. And I got this over the summer. And I thought it was empty, but it was not. So I cut the tip off because I couldn't squeeze anything else out, but I knew there was lip gloss in there. So if you get this or you get those squeezy tube kinds, just cut the top off and you'll be able to get what else is in there. I'm just gonna add some pigment. I think I was right with the colors on this one. It was a difficult decision, but Michael and the lady selling the scarves kind of convinced me that this is the one, so. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I've also decided that when I travel, I have to get a textile souvenir because that's my thing. And they're not like breakable. Cute. This is cute. I truly really don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I love it. I love it so much. I do use these when I try on clothes, like when I go shopping and I want to put something over my head, but I don't want to mess up my curls. I always bring a silky scarf. I have two of them. Um, but yeah, this is a nice little addition because I can just put it on my purse or wear it somehow and it's always with me. We are in Big Lots. Just browsing. The car's not done. Never been here before. Oh yeah, my car's not. I told him it's kind of like Ikea, but it's not. It's like home goods. Slash Walmart. Slash. Yeah. I don't know. Michaels. Yeah. Usually not. Did we want? Oh, no red rugs. We're in Home Goods now. Mm -hmm. We went to the Habitat for Man and he didn't get anything there. It's not right here. We've been sitting on couches all day, just so you know. Yeah. Just, just testing them all out. And walking. Yeah. Girl needs storage. I need a bed. This looks like it's for a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty wild. I just realized it's like Newt's. Newt's Commander. We're in Target now. Michael got a frappuccino. Making him share. I told him to get a bigger size. And she said she wanted a sip. And now she, now that I have a frappuccino, she wants all of it. <laughs> it is so hot in this car. I'm dying. But I got Black Dahlia by Burt's Bees. I've been wanting this for a while, but I couldn't find it. So. I'm gonna put it on for the first time, even though I have on a lip color right now. I have on 
this Dior lip balm. I got it um, in Italy. I got two of them. It was a two pack. It was like a coral color. And then the other one is a pink. So that's why my lips look like they have color, but I'm gonna put on anyway. Beautiful. I'm dying. <laughs> we went to Aldi. We almost didn't go but we didn't want to go tomorrow. This is the exciting news. We have a stainless steel, <laughs> stainless steel pan. I've always wanted one. Um, I'm gonna cook chicken with this this week. A nice sear on it. It was $30, not bad. And I have to throw away, I'm gonna force myself to throw away my little yes, egg pan because it is, it is at an unhealthy state, I think. It's not horrible, but it's not good. RIP. I did get something from Home Goods for my vanity, and I'm gonna show you my vanity. It's very embarrassing. It's a mess. I don't know how it always ends up like this. I just can't seem to keep things contained. And one other thing is that I now do my skincare at this vanity because there's no room for my skincare in the bathroom, so. Bear with me as I get through this. Here's the shame. <laughs> and this is what I got for the vanity. Oh, I can't open because I got this again. Third um, time I'm purchasing this. It looks promising, lots of space. These cute little mirrors. It was 25 bucks because uh, I was on clearance, uh, first of all, because of this thing. I don't understand why, but. Love it. I'm gonna set it up and also clean up this horrendous mess situation. So it's a bit of a cooler white than the actual desk, but it's fine, I will live. So I'm going to put skincare things in there. I'm not sure what I'll do, but I'll show you when I'm done. So here it is. Not sure if I'm crazy about it, but it looks decent. And I have my two things of makeup brushes. And there's some stuff in there. This is the drawer. I'm going to declutter these two things because they're just old and this has cream products in it. And then this palette I just don't really use. It's a lot of colors that are just too dark for me. So what I did is put skincare like moisturizers, essence in this one. More skincare, my two devices. This front one is all complexion, so I have a bunch of base products, bronzing drops, concealers. I don't really use these. One is for my mom, and one is too dark for me right now. Then I have some sunscreens and other things back there that I need. This has some lip color products and the sponge back there. And then palettes in this one. Hello, it is Sunday. I'm actually just finishing up work right now and I have to wash my hair very badly. Um, I put on a little bit of makeup so I didn't look so dead on camera because I had meetings, well one meeting. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening. I've actually spent some time rearranging the living room slash dining room slash kitchen. We need to go to Ikea next weekend to get some things because we just were coping. I will say first day living with this situation was quite nice. Um, it just looks cleaner. Um, and I've actually put some things back when I did my nighttime skincare routine. Like I actually put things where they have to go. So that was great. Um, I have to really take care of myself here. I have to do my nails as well. I just don't want to do the stuff, but I must. I actually have a good idea. I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair because it's been a while and I am digging the middle part. It's a very easy like hairstyle for me. This hair also reminds me of Kate Beckinsale from Van Helsing, which I actually watched this morning. I love that movie so much. It just is a tad like bit cheesy and funny and just, ugh. I love it. I love the costumes. I love vampires, just so you guys know. I don't know if you know that, but yeah, I love vampires so much. Okay, so here is the hair. I actually just gave it a little trim, just not even an inch. 
because the bottoms are actually the last bit of the ginger hair that I had. And it shows in the sun, so I figured why not just chop it off? And I know my hair will curl a lot better once that you know, is gone. So I just put my hair down the middle, favorite brush, Tangle Teaser, and I love this colorway because it reminds me of Sailor Mars from Sailor Moon. I keep forgetting to use my Olaplex number no. six, the Bond Smoother, so I've been trying to get back into the habit of using that. Just a little tiny bit. So I'm just gonna run that through. And I use this just because I heat style. I use my diffuser. It also allows me to use less of the second product. This is the Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner by Oudad. And this is for all curl types, it says. This has some nice slip, so I'm going to take a decent sized dollop. Probably take a little too much. And just go from the front and underneath, or the top and underneath, I should say. Most of my hair is right here, so I really have to get in there, or else it'll look really frizzy. And I brush, I brush through. For gel, I have two types that I go back and forth on, because if it's raining, then I use the climate control, because it has more humidity control. And then I will use the curl quencher, which is in the blue line, if it's not raining. I honestly have not checked, but I will be mostly indoors for work, so I'm just going to use this one. This is, I'd say, medium hold gel, and take a decent amount. So I just do the same exact thing. And then I'll start doing some prayer hands. And then I move on to the other side. I don't style this until both sides are coated with product. Oh my god, a hair. <laughs> both sides are done. Now I'm just going to brush the back. I like to combine the two sections together. Just so I feel like the stuff, the stuff, the product is distributed evenly. So I'm going to take this top section right here and it's a rectangle. So I'm going side, back, and then together the crown of my head. I didn't do this last time and my hair part went too far back and I didn't like that. So I'm going to get this section out of the way. This is actually how I um, put my hair up too. I just twist it and then do that, and it's so much easier. So now I take the bottom of the ear, two sections, like that, and I curl this kind of inwards and down. And then with these, I go vertical. And that is that side done. Why is my eyelid sticking together? And for the front pieces, if I see them doing some weird knot curling, I will just do it by hand, of course, and make a little ribbon. And now for the back, or top, I should say. So I just take this in horizontal sections, so like this. Take my brush and just do that. Whew. Okay. Now I just diffuse my hair and hopefully the back to 
does not look weird. The hair is about 89% dry and this is what it looks like. I separate the pieces um, throughout my head because it just has difficulty drying if I don't. So I'm very gentle and just separate the big chunks. So it's pretty separated. There are still some you can probably see, but I don't go crazy because they will get separated throughout the week. Well, I wash my hair every other day. Sometimes I'll stretch it two, three days. Two days? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, that's the hair, that's the routine. And I sleep with it up in a pineapple. I don't use a bonnet anymore because I had scalp issues. Those are pretty mild scalp issues now. They were intense scalp issues. Um, but thanks to medicine, dermatologist, it's kind of cleared up. So I think I'm gonna wrap it up here because I have to do my nails. I have to do some forced sitting, as I call it. They've grown out and they're annoying. I'm gonna watch some more Legacies because it was actually taken off Netflix and then now it's back on. So I don't know what happened there. But thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.